everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to it. Today is a good old Sunday ride. We are gonna go hit the Santiago Canyon and enjoy a nice ride through there, get some breakfast, and you know, just make a good day out of it. So it's not just me today. We got the whole family out. So we got me, we got Elijah, we got dad. I don't know if you can see any of them in the mirror, but we're about to hop on the freeway. We're gonna take the 91 out to the 55 to Catella Avenue. And you basically hop off, take a left, and you just take Catella all the way down. And that's gonna take you up and through the Santiago Canyon. So we'll kind of ride through there, see what we got today. and. Hopefully have us a wonderful Sunday morning ride. basically take Catella all the way down and it runs you through Santiago Canyon so it's pretty simple now me and my brother and my dad have been riding through the canyon since I first started riding it wasn't until we came through this canyon that I really got to experience the full effect of how fun riding a bike is and coming through here on Sunday mornings kind of became part of our thing so We kind of became our our family time was those those morning rides and heading out through the canyon on a Sunday morning and it was a great way to learn too because Sunday mornings there's less traffic people so when you're first learning that was great and then uh, it was just one of the more scenic routes down here that I had been on it was one of the first scenic ones that I've been on and it's nice and close to my place like you hop on the freeway get off the tele like 10 minutes on the freeway and you're ready to rock and roll and since I've been here with every single bike that I've had it's been just kind of a way to test the feel of each bike and just know what I liked and what I didn't like and what bikes were more fun in the canyon and which ones were less fun. Spoiler, they're all fun. like the first test is being able to ride on your own and the streets is a whole thing but being able to do it through the canyon was like the next level of like oh my gosh and it's kind of what we both fell in love with and it was cool our dad getting to share these experiences and take us to one of his favorite canyons and us all getting to ride the three of us right, it's been such a cool thing so besides the sentimental of sentimentalness, is that the right word? The sentimental value this canyon has, 
it's also a really fun canyon to ride because it's not that it's not that uh, technical. It's lots of long sweeping turns. There's not like really any quick pin tight turns. You got to worry about it. If you're keeping a good like 60 miles an hour through the canyon, you're golden. Like easy, easy money being able to go through there. So for that fact alone is that you don't have to be the most skilled rider to really enjoy it was always a plus especially if you're starting out down here but even if you just needed something to get away it doesn't feel like freeways down here because we do have a lot of that it's one of my favorite go-to spots one just because of the location and two because how short of a ride it is like you don't have to go super far to get here and that's always a plus so but this is the very beginning of the canyon right here at least this is what I consider the beginning of the canyon so you have Chapman and Jamboree so those are the cross streets it is what 925 so we'll see if i remember to say what time it is when we end the ride and we'll see how long it actually takes to get through the canyon but it should be fun and that's the thing sunday mornings going through this canyon is there there's a lot of motorcycles so it's a good place to be because people are a little bit more aware when you see a bunch of them instead of just a few all kinds of people out on bikes today i love it Go have some fun. Ah! <laughs> and most of the time, if you're going about like sixty ish that range it's like the perfect speed for this place but Irvine Lake is right over here too if any of you guys go fishing out here lots of friends it was nice and overcast giving us a little bit of shade and cooling it does drop a couple degrees up here too just because of the vegetation so it's a little warmer out normally in the day you do get a little bit of a cool breeze up here Lots of good little sweepy turns. Got great scenery up here. Sunday mornings, the earlier you get out here, even the better. Less traffic. But if you're lucky enough and you don't get any cars in front of you, you get to kind of just cruise through here. It's just a good time. horse ranch about halfway in. Also, I'm trying to add a different camera lens, not lens, but uh, wideness of a camera. So, we're going to see if the footage looks better and gives you a little bit better picture of everything around. Or if it's going to look like crap and then we'll know not to use it again. So, to be determined. Elijah must be feeling pretty good today. He's happy today. Also, if you guys are local to SoCal, you probably have heard of Cook's Corner. This is gonna go past that. Most people ride through the canyon to get to Cook's and that's where they stop for their lunch. Uh, we've always gone a little bit past that. There's a little place called the East of the Forest Cafe. It's a little, little cafe in this little strip kind of mall spot. And they just have really great breakfast. It used to be a donut shop. And now they, uh, they're kind of rebranded and it's an actual cafe. But the family that runs it, super nice. We've been going there for years now. and. They just make really bomb breakfast food. Good breakfast burritos, croissant, ham, egg, sandwich things. Like, it's 
delicious. So this is the last bit before Cook's Corner, so if you're going to be coming through here, you might want to slow it down just a bit because that's going to be your turn right here. All our fun bikes. Nice. And there's a light right here, so be careful if you're cruising through. in style he is. I'll show you where our breakfast spot is. I think I just like this canyon because it's one of the places that doesn't feel too stuffy out here. You can really kind of just stretch your legs out here. With a little bit of variety of twists and turns, you know. Toro, which if you go through again, and that just turns into Catella eventually. And there we are. What time is it? 9.47, so however long that took to get to. Again, Forest Cafe is right there, right next to the Juice It Up. Donuts, breakfast, and lunch, and it's a hidden gem. So, we're gonna grab some food. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you guys on the next episode. Later. <laughs>